Well, what's the temp outside? Temperature is 72 degrees and it's sun shining on this January day. We're going to go on an adventure right quick. Ellie, you want to drive? Let's go. got down here to the river we're gonna do a little exploring we hadn't really been down here since the flood so uh let's see what it looks like what'd you say i was gonna say you ought to show them like get a shot up there of how high that drift went in some of those pools. oh yeah it uh it was pretty crazy um i mean there's huge trees like it knocked over like right there just it de-rooted them whole trees big trees it's crazy what that water can do when it's moving like that so this used to be i don't know if you can see it this used to be a all this right in here used to be a pretty steep drop off and the river washed all that out and kind of made it a gradual deal and washed in a bunch of um gravel so kind of neat actually with with that bloomed in the spring and the summer we'll have a cool hangout here yeah we can come down here pitch a tent camp out this summer It'll be fun yeah old dixon getting in the water i took video yesterday of a white-tailed doe that came out right there and came down and walked across the river it's pretty cool Ellie's over there throwing rocks. Keep throwing rocks. Don't fall in the water, though. Okay? Okay. We had a little perch hole over here where we used to bring Ellie and catch perch. <clears throat> but the river, when it got up, washed, washed out that little hole. So now it's, it's not a little hole anymore, and it's... I don't know how good it's going to be. You're okay. Walk, walk, Ellie, walk. Don't run. Don't run. You'll fall. <laughs> so we just walked up to the riverbank, and uh, since the flood came through, the I guess it washed in all of that uh, caliche. And uh, made the river not very, very deep. It used to be, I don't know, knee deep right in here. And it might be on the other, on the far side. It looks like it, it's still pretty deep over there. Might be waist deep, but on this side, um, lost some depth there. Lots of rocks. It was good because it washed out all the the moss and weeds and everything uh, so the river really needed that we've got all this debris down here yeah we've got all this debris down here and uh, we need to bring a chainsaw down here cut it all up bring the tractor down here and push it into piles do some burning and all that good stuff which could be fun be a fun project so we might do that during spring break or something if, we're, if we've got time not way too busy I'll be doing powerlifting at that point so we'll see there they go exploring some more A super nice day it's like 74 degrees outside right now no wind which we we haven't had it's been it's been nice a couple of days i've been off two weeks for for school and uh we've had a couple of nice days but it was real windy 
and uh, so we it wasn't really good to get out with with Ellie and and do anything. So she's really enjoyed this afternoon. We've been out looking around and and doing all kinds of stuff. So it's been fun. You want to talk about a top-notch product? Man, this thing is tough. I meant to do a video over this yesterday, but I was hunting and didn't want to screw anything up. And by the time I got done, it was too late, and I wanted to have light to, to show you. But uh, all seasons feeders, man, these little stand and fill feeders, they are the bomb. And this this guy right here is tough. Um, that thing went through the. F okay, so it flooded in October. And the first day it flooded, um, this thing got lodged under this particular tree. Instead of flipping it, I'll just, right here. It got lodged in that mess right in there. Nasty. <clears throat> and, uh, but it, uh, I went and got it a day or two later, you know, when I could get down here and moved it and thought, you know what? It hadn't flooded like that in 20 years. Probably won't happen again. Well, I think it was two days later, uh, we got some more rain and it. The river just came down again and it got washed away again. And uh, the second time it ended up uh, way over here somewhere underneath another tree. But same thing. Uh, <laughs> I went picked it up set it up everything was good i did have to buy new electronics because it was submerged um here's my stand pieces i mean that river was up that high there's still debris up there it went into that upper into this upper field up here um so it was pretty high but it tore up tore up my legs on that i'm gonna have to try to figure out how to fix that that'll be another video and we'll try to weld the legs up somehow it shoot them shoot them off that one right there so anyways i'll have to figure out a way to fix that anyways back to the feeder those things are tough i mean it went through two floods all kinds of debris beating on it and everything uh, i put a new ordered a new solar panel and I didn't know if I needed a new um, motor or not. I went ahead and got one. It was 20 bucks, And hooked them back up. And this thing's working like a champ. Oh, I also got a new timer. Um, everything original. I just wanted the same thing. I've had it for five or six years now. And it had never let me down, so... Went back original with everything, and I mean, just a great, tough product. Pretty sweet. I didn't mention the sand yesterday because uh, it was kind of too dark to see or notice. But I'm gonna pan around and just show you all the all the sand that walked. I mean, it's everywhere. Oh, you gonna leave me behind if I don't come right now? Uh -huh. All right. Ellie the climber. You better not fall. You better not fall. What is what? That. That what? Is that I don't know. Where? Oh, yep. Coon's been sitting up there eating away. Uh, I'm gonna go right there. No, I love them. <coughs> All right. So that's a question. Tell us what they think in the comments. Did the. All these little um, cedars. 
we have not noticed them before and they're everywhere and it looks like it's where the sand washed in to me i don't know what do you think what do you think i don't know because there's not any over there where the sand didn't come in yeah yeah that's what i'm saying maybe it's the sand i don't know tell us what you think in the comments yeah well there's some but it's not where the sand is i guess there's some over there look at this trail oh my goodness you coming ellie you just gonna play in the sand you got your own personal sand? humongous sandbox out here yahoo yeah they're running away what happened Oh, did they come from the river? Oh. Ooh, something's dead over there. Wait. Hey, really good There's an axe's buck over there that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Look at all of them over there. You see that axe's buck over there? Boy, I'd love to, El. He's one horn, or he broke part of it off. 